it's your girl checking in, you feel me? I'm back, okay? I know it's been a long time. I've been on a hiatus, all right? And I promise y'all consistent content. And you know what? I just did the fuck off on y'all, and that is unacceptable. So I'm fucking sorry. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother topic and a whole nother day. Right now, let's get into this makeup tutorial, okay? I'm gonna be showing y'all my daily makeup routine because I do get a lot of questions on how do you know contour and conceal and your eyes and your eyebrows. I already started my eyebrows before I did the video because my eyebrows take me like a whole 15 to 20 minutes to do because I'm a fucking eyebrow perfectionist. And we have to remember that our eyebrows are gonna be sisters, not twins. They don't have to look exactly the same, but they have to look somewhere like, you know what I'm saying? As long as the left one's not over here doing the crip walk and the other one's over here on the fucking east side boys, like, no. Cut it out. Cut it the fuck out. Okay? Um, so I'll get into my eyebrows another day because I, it really does take me a long time to like actually fucking shape them. But I actually need to fucking pluck them because there's hairs. There's hairs everywhere. But if you want to know what products I use on my eyebrows, um, this is the Kia Funny Brow Cream that I got off of Amazon. Um, it's really, really cheap. It's like four or five dollars, and it lasts me a long time. I've had it for about like two, three years, but that's because I do do my makeup every fucking day. I don't see the need to do a full face of makeup every fucking day. Like, I used to be like that, but now I just don't have the energy for it no more. And the shades that I use on my eyebrows are going to be Honey Beige and Deep Tan, and these are both the LA Concealer Concealers. They're cheap little concealers that you can get from the dollar store. Nothing too expensive. I don't find the need to be buying high-end products when it all turns out the fucking same anyway as long as you know what the fuck you're doing you're fine so what i just did was i put some concealer on my lids to make sort of like a base for my um eyeshadow and what i do right here is i go with my finger with this nude shade and i kind of like pat after the little nude base is on our eye and it's Compact it and <clears throat> I go, can y'all see where I'm going? I go with this little brown shade right here. And I take it and I put it in my crease. So like I kind of just like. And right now, that's how it looks. So it looks, it looks a little rough around the edges. Like it's a little sloppy, but that's why you buff and take a shade and like, I'm about, to, I'm about to push on my name. So, after I go on with this, I'm gonna take this little orange shade right here. It's like a auburn or like a orange red. And I take it and I go out and I, above the brown and I like kind of like buff it out below my brow bone. And then after that, I go back, back into my, the crease of my eye with a little darker shade and just kind of like I try to isolate this shade in the middle and it's just to sort of like kind of give it some depth just a little bit not too much though when you isolate it in the middle I don't like go all the way I just isolate it right here in the middle and then that's it and I repeat that on the other eye so I'm gonna speed up that process and I'm gonna get back to y'all Alright, so now that that's done, we're gonna get into base makeup. By the way, don't mind the little like nick on my shirt. This is just like a get ready shirt because I don't like to put on my clothes, my like clothes clothes that I'm wearing when I get ready because like I feel like I fuck around and then I fuck up my clothes and I get makeup on my clothes. Like, then I'll be mad for the rest of the day because I be done got makeup on my fucking clothes. So that's just that. I, around if you want to and then you're like do want a t-shirt we get it so um 
the foundation I use is gonna be the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It's gonna be in the shade Coconut. I think it's the shade. Yes, in Coconut. It's 355, shade 355. And so I'm gonna pour some of it out. I got a little like thing down here that I use. It's not really nothing. It's just like, you know how your eyelashes come in the thing. I like to put my makeup on there and then take my brushes in because I don't like to be going back and forth, squeezing and shit. So this is the brush that I use for my foundation. I take it and I apply and I blend. Just go like this in a circular motion so that it turns out even and it's not too streaky. There that goes, that's our foundation, shit like that. So then I go back in with this deep tan concealer underneath my eyes. My nose, chin, and forehead. And then I take my brush. Okay, and then after that, I like to highlight and contour. If you don't know what highlighting and contouring is, which I'm about to give you a little tutorial, okay? So, you highlight the middle of your face to give it that pop and that glow. And when you contour, it accentuates your features like your cheekbones, your jawline, and your nose. So I'm about to show you how to go and do that real quick. Um, this is just something that I recently added to my um, makeup routine. At first, when I had started with makeup, I didn't know too much about it, so I wasn't trying to get into it. But now that I added it, I'm like, oh, okay, you feel me? I can see you. So I go into the inner corner of my eyes again with the um, L16 Hour Camo Concealer. It's matte finish. Um, this is in the shade of, I think it's, I think it's just called like plain nude. Um, and the reason why I'm going in with this light of a concealer is just to give me a little glow. Um, so, I'll just trust the process, okay? This is the highlight, right? So now we're about to go back in with the contour. And I use the same, con I use concealer as my contour and then I go in with the contour palette. And then like, kind of try to buff it out and the reason that y'all see me pat so much is because we don't want to ever like drag down underneath our eyelids or like because then that like drags the skin and it makes it wrinkly and baggy and we don't need that um and then i also pat because of product placement you see how this is exactly where i want it to be so go back in with the elf um 16 hour camo concealer matte finish and this is in the shade coco and i'm just gonna go underneath my cheekbones do my jawline, our forehead, of course, and then I'm gonna do my nose as well, just like that. And I'm going to take my angle brush and I'm gonna take the other small one. And what we're going to do is pat up and set it down because when you drag your con not your concealer but your contour down it adds a little bit of age to the face and what we're doing is trying to lift so and then like after i do my nose contour i always like to go back and apply that same nude concealer to the tip of my nose like that and the and play with it then boom so then i go back in with my true, my true complexion cream contour palette that's in medium to dark so i take contour right here is all the way on the end so i go in with a different brush and I take contour, get a get them that in there like that, and just do what the fuck I gotta do. And 
And then I just kind of take a little bit of this middle one. It's called Sculpt slash Sculptor. I never really use Illuminate. I just like, why would I do that? But I just take it and I just go back over the areas above where I contour. I try to do it like a little bit above because I'm trying to add warmth back into my face because you don't want to look blanch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cool, now that's that. So before I even set with the translucent powder, I like to go back over my face with like powder, um, powder foundation and try to just give it like a little bit of a stick or like try to make it stick. If you get what I'm saying, like it just gives me like extra sense of like, okay, it's there, you know? Just try to set it in. And I use two different powders. Like I use a lighter powder for the highlighted areas and then I go back in with a darker one. This is actually the CoverGirl um, powder foundation in the shade Coconut. So I just go back over my contoured areas with Coconut and then I take maybe like a bronzer and then I set the highlighted areas in and then I go back over my contour with the Coconut powder. After that, I go in and I like to make myself a little bit rosy and warm. So I take some of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Peach, it is. I used to use CoverGirl in the shade Rose and they're like kind of the same sort of pink. So whichever one, um, I like the CoverGirl one cause it's a little bit more pigmented and you don't have to, you know, go in and dip as many times as you do this one. So yeah, I like to apply my blush on my nose. If you don't, then so be it. Yeah, it works for me, works for me. Whatever works for you, do it. So there that goes. And after I've gotten like all my powders and stuff on my face, I go in and I set that with a powder, a translucent powder. And when some of y'all be baking, y'all be getting flashbacks in your photos and you don't understand why, it's because you're baking wrong, like you're using the wrong method. You're just letting the powder sit on your face and you're not actually patting it. So let me show you. Let me show you what I mean. So when you apply the powder, you take a wet beauty blender, right? This is key. Take a wet beauty blender, you get it in your powder. And this is how you bake. Like you pat the powder into your face. Pack it into your face. Like that little area under your eye, it's okay to let powder sit because in a minute we're just gonna, you know, brush it off and do the magic like they always do. But the rest of your face, you need to pack it in, like pack it in there. So after we've done that, I just like to take my little fan brush and go like this. Make all the little crusties go away. So now that that's done, I'm gonna do my highlight. My highlight is just like nothing but like a little cheap dollar glitter eyeshadow palette that I found in the dollar store. So it's nothing else like it's like literally an LA color shimmer eyeshadow palette. So I just take the gold shade in there and I do what I do. So I go on my nose. Like that. Take a fan brush, go over your cheeks. Of course, we're gonna do our forehead. Then to set it all off, I take the e.l.f. Makeup and Mist setting spray, and I just go like this. It's drench your fucking self, J bitch. You see how long like I'm sweating? Bitch, don't play with it. Just lay in it. 
Oh, 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 my, just don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play. So, now that I'm all dried off, I'm gonna do my eyelashes, add some finishing touches, and then I'll be back with you guys, okay? All right, you guys, this is the final look. Um, Eyelashes, lip gloss, and to touch up the bob so it could be bobbing, you feel me? Um, Yeah, I guess that's really all I have to show you guys. Um, if you like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more of me. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend about me. Tell your neighbors, aunties, uncles, cousin on his daddy's side to come watch me. Tell whoever you know. You matter of fact, scream it down the street. Say subscribe to seven. Okay, let them know. Let them know about me. You feel me? Let them know. But listen, all right. I'm gonna see y'all again. Okay, I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise I'm going to be dropping consistently. I'm going to get more in tune, more in touch. Y'all are going to see way more of me. You know what? Um, I'm really excited for what I have in store for you guys. So, until next time, I'll see you, my babies. Bye.